Hey, what's up guys? Jake with Legacy 4x4 here again, and today we are going to be painting my 1990 Ford Bronco. Eventually this truck is going to be an Overlander, and as you guys have seen from some of my past videos on this truck, I started building out the inside. I did some subwoofer and audio upgrades, built in a solar system, and did some trim work on the back of the Bronco, but now it is time to paint it. So the reason I'm choosing to paint it now before I do a lot of the other work is because I have some of the leftover primer and like the urethane activators and other stuff left over from the Commando, which I just painted a couple months ago. And so all I had to buy was just one gallon of paint just to paint the outside of the Bronco. So we're gonna knock this project out. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you guys can see, I already have the Bronco prepped. I've already gone through and did all of the tape work. I used mostly just trash bags and just regular blue painter's tape to go through and do all of the lines on the Bronco where I don't want the paint job to be on. So I've covered up the hard top, all of the windows, some of the different little accessory pieces like your rear view mirrors, your side mirrors, your door handles, and all that kind of stuff. All of those things I don't want to get painted. So, all right, so all of those things are taped up and now we're ready to prep for paint. So for the paint job on this, we're going to be doing a dark green metallic. I'm using Summit uh, Racing Equipment's paint again. It's the same paint I used on the Commando and I was really happy with the results of that paint on the Commando, so I wanted to use it again. This dark green metallic is not exactly the same color that came from factory, but it's pretty close. So hopefully the goal here is to cover up some of the leaf paint job, which it's a great leaf paint job. Jesse did a great job on this. However, I do want to make this just one solid color and we're going to go back to a semi-factory type color. So with that said, let me take you guys inside the garage. I'll show you guys the equipment we're going to be using and then we'll get started on the painting process. All right, so to do this, we're going to be using Summit Racing Equipment's paint. They have a whole line of paint materials and painting equipment and I've had good results with them in the past. So we're going to start with a 2K urethane primer. So this is a two-part primer. It has a high build quality to it, although when you do run it through a paint gun, you have to reduce it down a little bit and it kind of gets rid of a little bit of the high build properties, but that's okay because the Bronco's bodywork is good enough. So we got that as a primer, and then we're gonna be using this single stage acrylic urethane paint as well. This is also a 2K paint, or a two system, a two part system paint. So you're gonna have to use some urethane activator as well. Now Summit sells this really nicely. You get a gallon of paint, and you get one quart of activator, and then in total you then get five quarts of usable paint. So when I did the Commando, it was one gallon of paint covered the entire Commando. I've got one gallon of paint as well, and it should cover the entire Bronco. And then lastly, we do have, this is the urethane reducer, so that we can reduce down the primer. So I noticed when I was doing the Commando, I did not reduce the primer at all, because I wanted more of a high build quality to the primer, but it didn't come out of the spray gun very well. So we're gonna reduce this down and hopefully get some better results. And then to do the spraying, I have a relatively cheap Devil Bliss uh, paint system. This is their entry model paint system as well. It comes with a paint gun and with a primer gun. So you get two different guns, two different cans, all of your cleaning uh, tools required for those two guns. Then you also get a nice little plastic case for them to keep them all stored and out of the way when you're not using them. So with that said, We've got all this done. I'm going to mix up the primer and then we'll show you guys the process starting the paint on the Bronco. All right, so showing the Bronco before I start painting, you can see covered up the wheel wells with some trash bags, went through and taped up all of the different small pieces to it, covered up those a little bit, might have to repaint those afterwards, and went through and did just a little bit of Bondo work on the sides to smooth out some of the larger gaps that we have. This is the paint job that's going to be going away and going to be getting replaced by that dark metallic green that we have. The bumper's probably going to end up getting some paint on it too, so that's going to also get repainted. And then also, I took the headlights and taillights off, or well, I took the taillights off, and we are going to be replacing the headlights and taillights with some aftermarket LED options. And of course, we have our beer special here. We've got a little a can opener on the back of the truck. This is going to stay. This is going to get painted with the body as well to make it flow, but it is going to stay and be there.
to the Bronco now. I had a similar issue that I had with it when I was using it on the Commando. I was able to make it work a little bit better this time, but I did still have some spraying issues with it. So it's not the thickest, greatest coat of it. I got tired of dealing with the spray gun not spraying properly. Um, I think I just need to add a ton more reducer to it uh, in order to get this to spray out of the guns properly. It really is a high build primer, and so it really does kind of struggle coming out of my guns. I also forgot to mention earlier, I am not using my big Cobalt 220 air compressor I used to have. That air compressor did die on me during the move, and so I am using just a Harbor Freight 27 gallon uh, Quiet Tech air compressor. I got this one because I live in a residential area now, and the air compressor is inside my garage instead of being outside of it like it used to be at the old shop. So I went with the Quiet Tech one because it sits literally six feet away from me. Uh, and when it's running, it was really loud. The Cobalt was when I tried to run it a couple of times. Anyway, so this compressor is keeping up just fine though. So we're having relatively decent enough progress with this, but the primer didn't want to come through the gun because it's just too thick. Anyways, moving on, we have our dark jade metallic paint that you can't really probably see from there. I'm gonna mix this the same way I mixed the primer, just without the reducer. So it's gonna be a four to one ratio of the paint to the activator, and that's gonna give it, uh, that's the, the two part system that works with this paint. So we've got one more paint cup. We're gonna do probably two cups of this in here, kind of get rid of a little bit of the excess in this paint um, gallon that we've got. And then we're gonna just pour the rest of the activator into the gallon and we're gonna spray that. So we are going to use this entire gallon of paint. Now, it's probably only gonna take about a half gallon to paint the entire truck, to be completely honest. We're gonna do the whole gallon because I don't have anything else that I wanna paint green. I don't wanna just have a gallon of paint sitting on the shelf for the next three years. So we're gonna just spray the whole thing and we're gonna have a blast with this. It's gonna have a nice, thick, uh, dark jade metallic coat on this. Anyways, let me, uh, I'll mix this up here in this little can and then we'll start spraying. So here is the Bronco all painted up. As you can see, I still have all of the tape and garbage bags on it. I'm about to take those off, and then when that's all done, I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. And I know the headlights don't have tape or anything on them. I do have new headlights, and I have new taillights, and a new grill for this truck. But as you can see, this is what the paint job looks like. It turned out pretty good. Kind of hard to see here. You got a little bit of a glare, but you can kind of see coming off of this, it's got that nice shiny dark green metallic kind of color to it. It obviously, I didn't come through and undo all of the little imperfections, but overall it looks very nice for what it is. This isn't a show truck, so I'm not worried about coming through here and fixing up all of the little bodywork. I just wanted it to be one solid color, and I am a fan of this green. I think it looks so nice on this 1994 Bronco. All right, so we have this project completely finished. I didn't show you guys installing the headlights and taillights because it was a relatively quick process. And so I just knocked it out, pulled off all the tape and got this Bronco ready. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't put the wheels and tires back on yet. And the reason for that is because I'm gonna go to the store tomorrow and pick up some flat black paint. And I'm just gonna give the undercarriage a, a once over, give it the old backyard special where just everything underneath the body line gets painted black. It doesn't matter what it is, it gets painted black. So. We'll do that tomorrow, and then I've also got to pick up a couple nuts for one of the headlights. But let me show you guys around the truck, show you guys how this turned out, which is not too bad for what totally was a really cheap uh, backyard paint job. So we'll do all that, and then we'll talk about what's next on this Bronco. So starting up at the front here, you can see I don't have the grill in place yet, but the grill, as a teaser, is sitting right there. I'm going to do some custom bracketry to make it fit properly. I'm probably going to 3D print something tomorrow, but we have some new... Uh, LED headlights for the Bronco. So these are going to have some daylight running lights, turn signals, and your normal low and high beams coming out of it. These are going to give it a much uh, cleaner, brighter look, as well as just kind of helping to like, smooth out and modernize the front of this Bronco. You can see up here how some of the paint turned out. It's all dry now. It is really nice. Again, if you looked at it like closely, like you'll see like these little spots like this where Clearly this was painted in the backyard and clearly I didn't go through and bondo and make this truck perfect. 
but it doesn't need to be perfect. What it needs to be is good enough. This thing's gonna get used off road. And like Matt always says, it's a five foot paint job. From five feet away, this thing looks beautiful and that's all it needs to do. Coming back here, you can see some old bolts. These got left in the truck because the alternative would be having holes and got enough of those already. This is where the CB radio mount will go back when I get around to that. I do need to come through at some point and touch up the hard top, kind of touch up some of this rubber here, touch up the paint on that, but that'll be in the future. You can see we even kept the shore power charger here for the truck, nice and black and clean, makes it all stand out. I've also got to come through and touch up a little bit of overspray on the side steps and a few other places. This is where that dent was. You can still obviously see the dent, but it is definitely a lot nicer than what it was. And then moving up to the top. So it needs a good bath. And you get through here and scrub up these windows real nice and clean, but overall came out really nice. All right, so that's gonna close out this video, guys. I know I didn't show a whole lot of the details as I was going through this process, but you've seen me paint vehicles before. I didn't wanna belabor a lot of the same points. I used that Summit Racing paint, and as you guys can see the finished results here, it turned out just as nice as the Commandos did. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I do need to finesse and fine tune the way I use the primer because I'm 100% sure it's not Summit Racing's fault and it's something that I'm doing wrong. So I gotta fine tune and figure out the primer, but the paint itself, I'm really happy with how this paint turns out. When you Really, this was a very cheap, very quick, this was a one day paint job with a total of about $100 in material. It was about $90 for the paint, $10 in tapes and your other miscellaneous stuff, and a little bit of excess primer. If you didn't have the primer, I used about a quarter primer, so call it $120, $130. So this really is one of the cheapest paint jobs you can do. I used a cheap air compressor to do it, I used a relatively cheap spray gun to do it, and it worked out flawlessly. Well. It worked out good enough for what this truck is. So I hope you guys like this. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.